All right, guys, once again, it is Saturday night, and tonight we are doing one of my favorite movies of all time. As if all these movies you see around me are not one of my favorite movies of all time. Tonight, we are going to watch Bedtime Stories with Adam Sandler. Now, if you have not seen this movie, you have got to go get it, stream it, buy it, Amazon, eBay, whatever you have to do to get this movie. It is absolutely hilarious, and you are going to thank me after you watch it. Adam Sandler is basically a maintenance man at a hotel. He ends up having to watch his sister's kids, and every night when he goes to tell them a bedtime story, the kids kind of take over and add their own parts to the story, and then these parts start coming true. It's just an absolutely hilarious movie. I don't want to give too much away. But at one point, it does start raining gumballs. <laughs> now, we can't have gumballs for a snack. Who wants to sit here with just a big old bowl of gumballs and munch those all night while you're watching a movie? I mean... I do, but that's not really practical. So we have another kind of snack we're going to make. It doesn't really have anything to do with this movie. I just thought it sounded good. So in a minute, we are going to run out to Walmart, grab everything that we need for this snack, and then we're going to come right back here and we're going to make it. And believe me, it's going to be delicious. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll tell you about it. Tonight, we are going to make taco sticks rolls, whatever you want to call them, taco dippers, I don't know, something like that. Here's how it goes, though. We're going to take some taco stuff, we're going to take some cheese, we're going to roll it up in some pizza dough, we're going to cook them, we're going to take them out of the oven, and then we're going to dip them in some awesome taco sauces. And I know it's not Taco Tuesday, but it just might be Saco Saturday. Hey, I don't think that's very funny. <laughs> so now that I am standing here in only one sock, let's get down to making this snack. Come with me, let's go to Walmart and go shopping for everything we need to make the awesome snack. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't even tell you about the Dr. Pepper milkshakes. Oh yeah, baby! Who's ready to cook? We'll take one of these, one of these, one of these. Wait a minute, that's hot. I don't think I want hot. Let's just go for the regular medium one. Ooh, look at this, guys. They have Taco Bell Baja sauce and Chipotle. We'll take both of those. All right, I think we're gonna get the Colby Jack sticks. That looks deliciously tasty. Okay, and the recipe calls for these pizza crusts, but I don't know if these come in a roll I think so, because it says unroll. However, here's great value. That's even bigger. I think what we're going to use is the crescents like we've used before. And look at this. Big crescent rolls. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to need some vanilla ice cream. Okay, we got everything we need from Walmart. And I just so happen to already have the last thing that we need right here. And that would be the Dr. Pepper. So I'm just gonna grab a can of this. I think that's all we'll need is one can. All right, so we got our burger. We got our cheese sticks. I got two packs of the Crescent Rolls. One pack of the original taco seasoning. This is actually my favorite, the McCormick kind. They actually do have Taco Bell, but it's a little bit more expensive. And personally, I don't think it's as tasty as McCormick's. And we got the Ortega medium taco sauce, the Taco Bell Baja sauce, and the Taco Bell creamy chipotle sauce. Now, you don't have to get all of these. I just thought they all looked absolutely delicious. And we need something to dip these in when we're ready to munch on them. And you actually could use pretty much anything for that. Look, you could also use sour cream. We have some of that. I don't think buffalo sauce would be very good 
on taco sticks, but I don't know. I guess it's your own taste. Ooh, ranch might be pretty good. I don't know, let's see, what up? Do we have any salsa in here? Oh yeah, we got some, it's way back here. We got salsa and we have that queso dip back there. So pretty much anything that you want to dip your delicious taco sticks in. We're also gonna need a cookie sheet and some parchment paper. We'll put that over here for now because the first thing we need to do is brown our hamburger. So we're gonna need one of these skillets right here. That's a good non-stick skillet. This right in there. Now each of these has eight big crescent rolls in it. I think that's all we're gonna make. I think we're just gonna make eight. So I'm gonna stick this one back in the fridge. And there are 12 cheese sticks in this bag. So we're just gonna use eight of those. There you go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get this hamburger going. I say it's the first thing we're gonna do, as if we haven't been doing a whole bunch of other things. I guess I need to turn on the burner. That would help. <laughs> get this nice and chopped up in here. All right, so that's coming along very nicely. If I were going to add onions, this would probably be the point that I would do that. Because I like for them to cook up a little bit, be just a slightly crunchy, but still be releasing those delicious onion juices. But we will add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Mix that up good. Okay, drain that good. Pour in three quarters cup of water. And our pack of taco seasoning. Get that mixed up good. All right, I'm going to turn that heat down a little bit. And just let that sit there and simmer so that it'll cook off the extra juice. And it'll cook the flavoring right into the burger crumbles. And here's an awesome little tip when you go to drain the burger. Put a wad of paper towels inside a bowl. Drain it into there. Pick it up. Clean as it can be. And all you gotta do is throw that in the trash. So I've also prepared our cheese sticks on this uh, plate right there, just to make it much easier. I'm gonna get this ready, put a piece of parchment paper on it. And there we go. And let's check our burger. Yeah, you see how that's starting to thicken up there? That's exactly what we want. We don't want it to be juicy at all. We don't want it to be dry. We just don't want it to be very juicy to make our sticks soggy. <laughs> okay, now with these crescent rolls, the way to open them, the last time I did this, they just exploded on me. The way to open it is to start unraveling. Okay. Then you have to take a spoon and push here. Dang. <laughs> now there should be eight individual wrappings or whatever you want to call them here. See, this is the bad thing. This is why I like the corn dog ones better. These are shaped like a triangle. So we've got to somehow stretch these out so that we can enclose the cheese and the meat inside that and pinch it closed or else it's not going to cook right. Okay, so here's what I ended up having to do. I got this one rectangle. I basically had to take the pointy end, fold it up a little bit, and then just start patting it out and stretching it out to make it a rectangle. Because it has to be a rectangle in order to wrap around the cheese and the meat. So that's how it's working right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of those. Okay, so this is a little bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be. Since it is so warm in here right now, the dough got really soft and started sticking to itself. So I had to roll up the rest of the stuff and stick it in the fridge so that it will get cold enough that I can unroll it and get each individual piece. But I got four of them done right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those ready. So we're gonna take a piece of cheese for each and just lay it right on top. Man, these things are gonna be super cheesy. So there's four of them. And then we're gonna take a little bit of meat and put that on there as well. We wanna spread it throughout, but we can't put too much. Just enough on each one. And let's just spread that out a little bit on there. Okay, and then we're gonna to attempt to roll these up 
in a way that encases what we just put in there without leaving any holes. Because once that cheese melts, it's going to want to ooze out any holes. Okay, that worked out pretty good right there. And you can see how it's not perfect. There's a little bit of hole there, hole there, a little hole here. Just got to kind of pinch that together. Okay, so I got them all done. This one here has been the most difficult. I think I just put a little bit too much meat in it, but I can't get it to pinch close and stay close. So that's it. That's the way it's going to be. These were a little bit more difficult to roll up than I thought they were going to be, but I think it's because they got so warm, and so the dough got really, really soft. So, with those all prepared to go, we are going to preheat the oven to 350, and then bake 12 to 15 minutes. Now, it might be a little bit longer since there's actually stuff rolled up in these, because this is just the instructions for if you're only making the crescent rolls. So we might be talking about 20 minutes here, but I'll let you know after they come out. So into the oven these go, about 20 minutes. And then meanwhile, we're going to get some of our little dipper cups out here. <clears throat> Creamy Chipotle, this stuff is so good. Taco Bell sauce. So we're just gonna take that, put a little bit in there. Same thing with the Baja. Mmm, this stuff smells good. And then the taco sauce. I really like this stuff. It's a little bit spicy, but here we go. Probably more sauce in each of those than we actually need. <laughs> yeah, so there's our sauces. Ortega taco sauce, Taco Bell creamy Baja sauce, and Taco Bell creamy Chipotle sauce. They are all Absolutely delicious. Okay, and last but not least, while those are still cooking, we got about nine minutes to go. We are going to make Dr. Pepper milkshakes. Now, you can use a regular blender. You could even just put this stuff in a bowl and take a spoon or a fork and really whip it up for a long time to make it into a milkshake if you don't have a blender. Or what I'm gonna use, which is, I think it's called a Ninja. Basically, we put our stuff in here, we screw this on somehow, and then put it on here, and it will mix it up just like that. So, we're going to put a little bit of Dr. Pepper in here. In place of milk, if you were making a regular milkshake, you'd be putting milk in here. But we're putting Dr. Pepper because we're making a Dr. Pepper shake. So that's pretty dang fizzy. I think that should be enough though. And then we're just gonna put some of this vanilla ice cream in. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. I think that'll do it. And then we put it right in here. Yeah, it's a little thick yet, so we're going to add a little bit more Dr. Pepper. Because we want it to be drinkable, but we do want it to be thick like a milkshake. And I'm making a mess. Dear Lord, if you guys are making this stuff at home with me every week, you know that it looks easy in the video, but there's actually a lot of behind-the-scenes messes that's going on. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, grab our cup with a straw. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> and we still got about five minutes to go before our taco things are done, but I'm gonna give this a taste anyway. Oh, that is amazing, guys, that really is. And it's so warm in here today because as soon as spring hit, it got hot, so this tastes so good. Totally hits the spot. And you could use any kind of Dr. Pepper or any kind of soda that you want. You could use orange soda. You could use cherry Dr. Pepper, that Dr. Pepper cream soda. Whatever it is, it's all going to be delicious. Okay, let's take a look at these. Wowzer. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, those look so good. Yeah, look at that. Look how delicious those look. I just loosened them up on the paper here. 
and that parchment also keeps your pan clean. We did have a little bit of oozing of the cheese, but man, does that make it look good. We got our Dr. Pepper shake, and we have our delicious taco stick dippers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I chose the chipotle sauce for the first dip. Oh man, look at that. That looks so good. Give it a little dip and let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is unbelievable, guys. That is so good. You have got to make these. All right, I'm going to take my taco dippers and my Dr. Pepper shake, and I'm going downstairs to watch bedtime stories. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next Saturday.